So I can tell you that the obstacle avoidance in the back doesn't work in the dark. I almost hit myself in the head. So I'm outside the city to test the night capabilities of the Mini 5 Pro. It's supposed to be able to, to detect obstacles uh, with the LiDAR uh, radar in the front down to one lux, equal to what you see from a candlelight or from street lights, sort of-ish. I don't have a light measurement device here with me, so I can't verify it, but I selected an area of the city that's like an industrial park or so, where there's only few street lights. So let's just step outside and see what we can make out of this. Be interesting to see what what would be possible with this. So I don't know. I don't know how we do this. It's very dark. <laughs> Maybe we should just move down here. At least so we have some sort of a reference point. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a sewer thing here. So the drone can be located at this position. And now I've pushed all the buttons here. Compass calibration. Oh, of course. I'm stupid now. <laughs> I put it on a metal suet <laughs> thing, so of course uh, it's going to uh, mess up uh, the compass calibration of the drone. So now it's located here on the street, below this, yeah, close to the street land. And uh, so if we have the other way down here, so, so let's just put down the camera here. I don't know how much you can see. But what we're going to test here today is the night capabilities of uh, the Mini 5 Pro. So, and we're going to do 4K 30. We want to make sure that the camera is put into normal, yeah? Start the video. So let's just do some uh, Nightscape footage first. So this is uh, the industrial neighborhood here in Fredensborg. You can make a balance there, yeah. Okay. So let's move the drone. Shoot a little bit of goodies here. I would probably assume there's a night mode here somewhere. So let's just jump in here and see. No, there's not. So it kind of figures that part out by itself, I guess. It was only on uh, some of the older drones that had a dedicated night mode. So what usually happens here is uh, if we switch it into auto mode, see it boosts the ISO up to 12,800. And this was uh, the night mode in the old days that kind of capped or removed the cap that was 6400 uh, in ISO and uh, then you could push it to 12,800 but now it uh, it seems there's no transition between that so and it also has a very very nice green light it's flashing so if I just take it down here you can see that it turns off the green light which makes it kind of illegal <laughs> to fly it here at night. So we just stop recording video now. You can see. Whoa! <laughs> so I can tell you that the obstacle avoidance in the back doesn't work in the dark. I almost hit myself in the head. You see the green lights here? If I start the video recording, the green lights will turn off. Opposed to what we saw with the with the, the Air 3S, where they actually keep, yeah, they keep being turned on. So let's just fly a little bit this way. See, 
It doesn't see me. <laughs> so that that is what happened before. If you fly at night and you fly backwards, the cameras won't see you. So let's see if what happens the other way. Yeah. So you see the lighter radar system that detects me. Let's just try and move. Hey, there's a lot of light wires there. So the light is off. I don't know if I can switch off the light here. So the auxiliary lights, if we take that one off, well, that will allow us to do the testing. Let's just move towards the drone here. See if it can see me, yeah. It actually detects me. And see right now, it's very, very pitch black here. So if I move here, so see, we'll go towards the back of the drone. It's not seeing me, seeing me maybe a little bit, <laughs> but it definitely detects me if I move here in the front. Let's just see what it says here on the safety. If we take bypass, so now we're doing like a, I'll just do it slowly. So it just stops. It's not bypassing. Oh, it stops under these light conditions, yeah? Let's go to a place where it's really, really dark. So you see the lighter? It detects me. Yeah, yeah. It does. Let's move off the back here. I still see something in the front, but it doesn't see me in the back, right behind. So if I move it towards me, you see, it doesn't detect me at all. I go in the front. Ah, it's difficult to see, but it stops. So the front facing lighters, they work in almost pitch, pitch black conditions. <laughs> it is not easy because I noticed that the, the green lights are basically turning off. I should have brought a LED light a green flashing LED light that I could put uh, below the drone to fly it 100% uh, legally. But the problem is that that would probably boost the weight be, be, beyond uh, the 250 grams. So I need to upgrade the drone. Uh, we have to upgrade for C1 drone to be able to carry those LED lights and still keep it within the limit. So let's just fly it little bit along this road and then try to initiate the return to home and uh, if you remember we took off from uh, over there where, where it was pretty dark so let's initiate the return to home see what happens let's try and go closer here so it's coming back and it's supposed to land uh, it's very difficult you can't see it so it's uh, but it is coming back night time and a very <laughs> so how close it gets to the original point. So now it's starting to descend. It's interesting to see. I think it takes a long time for it. Is it coming down? Yeah, it is coming down. But it's, from what I can see, it's way off. But, but it, it is getting back. Oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's here. I actually don't know how much you can see. 
I can stop it maybe. And then what I can do is I can enable the auxiliary lights. Then I can show you. So, yeah. So maybe that's easier. And see, oh, it took off from approximately this position. You can see that there's this metal cover. That's what screwed up the calibration of the compass. That was kind of a thought error from my side. Of course, you can't put it on a metal surface like that and expect the calibration to hold up. And it took off around here and it came back to around this position. So I would say that's pretty impressive. So I would say that we learned a few important lessons here. We learned that the front-facing LiDAR sensors, they actually detect, even though it's very close to pitch black, it detects obstacles. So that's super nice. We learned that the, the other camera system, that's being disabled, or at least being not non-functional. <laughs> Almost hit myself in the head, backing the drone towards me, while it was uh, yeah, kind of uh, black. It was not in the complete black spot, but it was still away from this uh, lamp that we have over here. So that was interesting. And also we learned that the, the nighttime return to home that actually also works and it pretty much landed within, I don't know, half a meter or a meter from where it took off. So that's also very, very impressive. The night footage is of course a little bit limited uh, because I noticed that the, the green lights are actually turning off when you are enabling a video recording and that makes it not legal to fly the drone because it needs to have a green flashing light uh, when it's uh, airborne so you can easily spot it in the sky. So, and the only way to get around that is to mount an external LED on the drone which might cause the weight to go above the 250 gram which will basically invalidate the C0 marking of the drone. So this was a very fast nighttime test of the Mini 5 Pro. And uh, if you want to see some of the other videos that I made with this really, really cool drone, then you'll be able to access those through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.